Hey gang, welcome to the Boyle County Public Library. My name is Julie and I'm the programming coordinator here at the library. I'm really excited about the new year and I'd like to tell you about the new teen programs that we have. Every week we have our Girls Who Code and our Open Coding Club that meet on Mondays and Wednesdays at 4 p.m. respectively. We also have some programs that meet monthly. Starting this month, we have our Teen Book Club where we will discuss current young adult titles. We'll have Teens Write Tuesday where you can sharpen your writing skills alongside other teens who love to write. And we'll have our STEM Challenge where you can put your science and engineering skills to the test in a special competition. We also have our Craft Noon every month. I'm really excited about the craft for this month. We'll be making a special craft called Japanese Sumenagashi, or ink floating, which I'm going to demonstrate for you today. Sumenagashi translates into spilled ink, and it takes advantage of constant movement of the water to create some amazing designs. I've gathered our materials here. We have our tray of water. We have some paint brushes. We have our special Boku Undo paint ink. We have some paper towels, and we have our paper. Okay, let's get started. For my print, I want to use a traditional method that looks like ripples uh, in a pond when you drop a rock in. Okay, so I've got my two paint brushes here, and I'm going to load them up with my ink. I've got some yellow and red that I'm going to use here. Now, I'm just going to alternate with my brushes touching the exact same spot in the water. And each time I touch, the ring, the new ring will push the old one out further. Now you could do this to create hundreds of rings. Get a little more ink. That looks pretty neat. Now I could make a print just like this, but I also wanted to show you what happens if you make some movement in the water. How neat that looks. All right. I think I'm going to go ahead and start. I've got my paper here. And what you want to do is all at once lay it flat down on the ink. Oh, that's great. And then blot it with some paper towels. And there you go. Got my very own Sumanagashi print. So I hope you'll join me this Friday, January 13th at 4 p.m. to make your own Sumanagashi print. If you'd like to sign up for this or any of our other teen programs, be sure to call the library or email me. You can find more information in the video description below. And remember to check back next month to see what fun things we'll be doing then. If you'd like to read more about Japanese culture uh, or some stories from Japan, you can check out some books next time you're at the library. See you soon.